everybody. I want to make a video today about the top 10 tools that you're going to need as an aircraft mechanic that you won't necessarily get in a &P school. Okay, so here are the top 10 tools that I have that a new mechanic's going to need, but you're not necessarily going to get in a &P school. So first, in no particular order, this is <clears throat> we have a magneto timing light. You turn this on, hook it up to your magnetos, and it tells you when the points open and close so that you can time your magnetos to an engine properly. You're going to use this during annuals, 100 hour inspections, um, a lot, a lot of times, especially in general aviation. Um, some of these tools are going to be specifically geared towards general aviation and um, some piston aircraft style uh, maintenance, but a majority of them are actually good just general overall tools as well. Next here is a flashlight, a good bright flashlight. Uh, I have a Streamlight Stinger LED HL. Um, it's got <coughs> the rechargeable prongs on it. It's got a removable battery and I don't have it with me, but it has a, Andrew, you're very loud. It has a piggyback charging system with an extra battery on it that I have charging. So that's handy. Um, you're going to use this for inspecting airplanes, inspecting your work, lighting up areas, this is one of my most used tools every single day. It's worth getting a good flashlight. As you can tell, I've had this for almost two years now, and it's it's pretty well used. So next here, I've got a pair of old safety wire pliers. Now these are the reversible style. So you got your right and left position. You pull it. It's got the uh, the automatic retracting handle on it. This is just designed to make your life easier, faster, better. Um, it's got the little cushion on the throat of the cutting portion to hold your safety wire. Again, this is these are not 100% necessary, but it's going to make you a lot faster and a lot quicker um, than using duck bills or twisting safety wire by hand. Uh, every aircraft mechanic pretty much has a pair of safety wire, wire pliers. So, um, another good tool to have. Next, I only have one of them with me, but open end wrenches and <clears throat> specifically, you know, the 60-30 degree offset open end wrenches. I have from three eighths, I think, no. I have from three eighths to one inch um, in open end wrenches. And these are really handy for all sorts of applications. Um, honestly, I use these probably just as much as my regular open box, uh, open and box end combination wrenches. Um, that 60 degree head on it is just super convenient and just helps in a lot of different scenarios. So I would definitely recommend if you are looking at buying another set of wrenches, I would get a set of angle wrenches before getting a new set of, say, snap-on box end wrenches. More than likely, you got a set of box end wrenches when you're in A&P school so I would go ahead and invest in the angle wrenches first before getting another set of box end wrenches. Next I have here is a little tool from Boxel Aerospace. It's a valve core removing tool. What this allows you to do is put this onto the valve stem of the tire and then safely remove the valve core and drain the air out of the tire 
without worrying about the valve core going flying across the shop or something like that. Um, they're not 100% cheap. I think this tool in particular was $30, but it's worth it. When you're working with airplanes that have tires that are in the 200 plus PSI range, it's worth just the added security of having a tool like that. Um, next down the line here, ratcheting and ratcheting wrenches. Now, this is a pretty recent investment of mine. Um, I'm still considered slightly uh, a fairly new mechanic, so I'm still buying tools on a pretty pretty regular basis. But this is Snap-on's new ratcheting wrenches that are made in the USA. As you can see, it says here, made in the USA. And listen to this. You hear that? Super smooth, super quiet. It's got the dual 80 ratcheting technology, and the box end is pretty darn thin for a ratcheting wrench. Um, this is really awesome for getting into tight spots, and especially like around flight controls, um, different things of that nature. So, box uh, ratcheting wrenches are definitely on should be on your list of tools that you want to get. Um, maybe not right away. I was able to get by without uh, ratcheting wrenches for a while, but it's definitely on your need to have list because there's just some things a, a box down wrench is not going to be able to do, and it's going to make your life easier, faster, quicker. So, next, this bad boy. This is my screw panel killer essentially it's a speed handle with a ratcheting mechanism on the end of it and then it's got a bit holder and you can see i've got an apex bit on here this is to take out your stubborn screws stripped out screws halfway stripped out screws if you're new you may not have experienced it yet but if you've been in aviation for any period of time you know that stripped out screws are a pain in the butt and this tool is going to help you get them out a lot easier rather than trying to drill them out now it's going to happen you're going to have to drill out screws every now and then but this will save you some effort and you won't have to take them out necessarily. This will also help you with just super tight screws or just being able to control how fast you take a screw out or um, for instance today when you're working with fuel panels and you you're not you don't want to use electric impact tools and you don't have I don't have a pneumatic screwdriver to take screws out this is what you're going to use to keep yourself safe in that type of scenario. So, um, one of the biggest things I like about the this particular speed handle is it's got the rounded end on it, and that allows you really to get a lot of leverage on that screw. You know, really put your weight into it and then turn that that screw off. And what I'll do a lot of times is with this ratcheting mechanism. I can ratchet and then, you know, impact that screw manually to get it to come loose. And uh, this thing is super handy. This would definitely be on your short list of tools that you need um, as a new mechanic, and that you're not you you won't get this in uh, in A and P school. I, I doubt that you know anyone's going to have you buy this while you're in A and P school. But it's definitely I need to have. Next, a pair of Nipix adjustable pliers. These I like better than a Ford wrench or your regular crescent wrench because A, you got smooth jaws here, and B, just the quick adjustability and 
the ability to really grab and hold and get a good tight grip on whatever you're working with. Um, I use these on axle nuts, on fit, you know, larger fittings and nuts, um, lines, things like that here and there. Um, now a wrench is going to be better, but this is good to get you by. Um, this is a great tool to have. It's you know it's a little bit more expensive than a normal set of pliers or a crescent wrench, but definitely a high quality tool and definitely worth it. Um, Nipex uh, makes great tools, and I would highly recommend you get a pair of these for your toolbox. Next, a pair of long nose, uh, long side cutters. I use these pretty much every single day. I almost always, this is what I use to cut safety wire on almost anything. You can just, you are, it's just intuitive for me to be able to reach in and grab and cut with these side cutters. Um, anytime I do an oil change, these are the side cutters I use. Anytime I'm cutting, because nine times out of ten, when you're cutting safety wire on an airplane, you have to reach in somewhere to cut it off. And these are the bad boys to do it because, I mean, small profile head, and I've cut bunches and bunches of safety wire with this, and the, the blades on it are still sharp as a tack. These are snap on makes, this is one of my best tool purchases I've ever made. Um, now Snap-on has e a, a, even a different design than these particular side cutters where it's actually the two handles fold over one another and the head is even actually pointier and narrower and it's even a little bit flatter. Um, I haven't seen the, the reason to really upgrade for me yet. Um, I probably won't honestly because these do a pretty darn good job but the one thing that's nice about those that my snap-on dealer was showing me is that the handles are are even stronger than than these ones I mean this is pretty hard steel but you can see that it flexes when I squeeze it like that apparently it's even stronger on those pliers Next tool, a little 90 degree ratcheting bit holder uh, or bit driver. This is going to, I don't know how many jams this thing has gotten, gotten me out of, but I've used it a lot clearly because this is a blue point tool and you can see the blue point logo on it is worn off. Um, just inherently with aviation. Um, screws and fasteners are going to be in tight places and you're going to need to be able to get them off and this is just going to allow you to do it faster and quicker than trying to take a pair of vice grips and grab a bit and turn it out or something like that. This just gets you in a tighter spot easier and can do the job quicker. You can get the set of these for, I don't know, not that expensive. so. Um, and they have the heads are offset forward and aft so you can get into different different uh, angles and spots so this is definitely a good tool to have as well and last bonus tool is this is an 11th tool not necessarily something that you need per se but gonna make your life easier it's a ratcheting screwdriver uh, pretty handy. I personally recommend this style T-handle. Um, I don't remember the exact length on this one, but it is part number SS0MRT4. And the reason I like it is because you're able to get a little more torque on it, both going on and coming off with it and it's a snap-on ratcheting screwdriver. Plus, 
this handle style is a little bit more low profile than a normal ratcheting screwdriver. I have a normal ratcheting screwdriver, I just didn't bring with me. But in a normal ratcheting screwdriver, because you're able to get inside the inlet of the cowling easier or <clears throat> get into certain spots easier because you have this longer shank, but the handle is not nearly as long. Um, I don't know, I just like how this screwdriver feels in my hand, and it's a good tool. It's actually cheaper than the normal ratcheting screwdriver from Snap-on also, if I remember correctly. Um, so, definitely a worthy investment, and I would recommend this particular ratcheting screwdriver. But any ratcheting screwdriver is going to be good. Um, but, yeah, those are my top ten tools for new aircraft mechanics. These are the things that you're going to you're gonna need as a new aircraft mechanic to make your life easier, do your job faster, do it more effectively, and be able to make money better or faster. Um, leave comments, subscribe, share, um, and just let me know how I'm doing. I, I, I really enjoy watching YouTube videos. And I think I have something to share here, so I'm going to, you know, do my best at making my YouTube videos interesting and informative and fun for you guys. Um, so let me know uh, what other kind of videos that uh, you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, and uh, this is the Stevie AMT channel.